here with head coach Victor Thomas as Lincoln begins the 2016 outdoor season. Coach, uh, let's start off with the men. You're coming off an obviously an impressive third place finish at the national championships in indoor. What are you expecting from them this outdoor season? Well, first I'd like to say that after an indoor season like that, you cannot get any better. We won three out of the possible four championships and was third in the next. The guys did a scintillating, excellent job. And outdoor, if all had been well, if everybody have stayed healthy, we have a couple of injuries in the half mile of Riley and one of the sprinters rose. If those guys get healthy and able to qualify, along with the other top guys, Miguel, Martin, Rice, Roberto, Jumper, Siddiqui, Orlando, and we have the four hurdlers in Winston Smith and Darian Hunter, the sprint hurdler in Stallone Watson. I think we have a good shot if everybody stay healthy. And I'm hoping they stay healthy. If they stay healthy, the sky is the limit. And they're on a high now, so when you're on a high, you got to ride the tunnel bus to a turn out. Well, obviously the men uh, won the uh, MIAA Indoor Championship. You talk about them staying healthy. Do you think that you've got a team that's going to be pretty competitive in the outdoor championships for the league? Yeah, go again with health in that there are a lot of new events. There is a 10,000, the 3,000 steeple chase, the javelin, the discus. You have four, five new, the, the, the catlin. There's five new events that is at our disadvantage, and we only got two that's going to help us the four by one and the four hurdles. So that's five new events for the, for the opposition and all the two that's gonna help us. So it's gonna be touch and go. We ain't got the ammunition to, to, to go that far. So where conference is concerned, I don't know. And then with finally with the men, uh, are there any athletes in particular that you're particularly excited to see how they improve, uh, not just from last year, but also from the indoor season to outdoor season? Yeah, I, I'm kind of excited about Rice. He, he was second at Nationals, and I think the sky is the limit for him. The question is, will I run him the 2-4? I'll just let him run the 4 alone, because he's kind of soft. So I think if I run him the 2-4, we can get up to maybe 16 points from him. But then that's still up for debate, and I'm still thinking here or there. If I'm going to try to maximize him, I'll just let him run the four. But he should be in the top three in the four, and I think he would be, he can be in the top two in the two. But I don't know if I'm going to I'm going to chance that because that's a lot of work, especially on the final day of championship where you might have to run four by one, 400, 200, which is 30, 40 minutes before the four by four. So. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm still working at that. And that's one of the things we start doing. I'm, I'm back to basics with the practice. We are now doing a lot of core work and a lot of background work for the next three weeks to get them back strong, especially the good ones, to get them prepared for maybe that Maryville meet is this first target. And Kansas really, those are the main two targets. You know, the other meets are just for sure to make that 14. All right, and then moving on to the women's track uh, team. Obviously, they won the national championship, but you're going to be losing a couple athletes from that squad. How is the uh, 2016 Lincoln Outdoor Women's Track Team looking? Well, it's, it's going to be tight. You know, uh, as I said, the sky is the limit, but losing Yannick and LaDonna and Monique and Willow, that's, that's a big blow. You know, they... they, they outdoor finish. We got Willow next year to come back around indoor anyway, but she has no more outdoor. And that's part of the four by four, and that's half of the four by one already. So I'm trying to make shift for four by four, four by one, and then we have to find two replacements for Willow for that four by four team. I got Ebony and Shanice. Shanice is presently bird, but I think with Javier, Venetia and Christian, we should be good enough to be in the top three. Jassy Smith are shot at all the two teams. No matter who I use, I think we're able to give us a run for our money in the 4x4. Four four. The 4x1, four no, I'm trying to get the right combination. Oh, the two leg is situated on that team. I'm going to run Venetia on the back stretch and Kimberly on the third. The final leg, the started leg, is still in process. I'm not yet decided. On the track, we should, we should get some points in the two and the four, the eight, and the sprint early, Chris Dale. 
the chumps. Well, we have Diana back, we have Diana, which she should be the number one triple jump by the country outdoor. But we got to get her mind right. If we get her mind right, well, with that five scoring the max, it can be touch and go for any team out there. And then how about the uh, conference championship? No, the conference, I don't think we ever goes for a chance to. No? But, uh, but I said the five that's running with these girls, we we'll have people like Kimberly, not Kim Kimberly with step up. She should win the hundred and the two hundred. Then we got the unknown factors in Kimona, Sha, Shanice in the four hurdles, which she should do well, but she's hurt, as I said. We have some unknown factor where we don't know what they're gonna do. You know, we have Lexa and all run fairly well in the cold this last weekend. And then we got Tina, Diana, Judith in the sprints and the jumps. So if those can back up stuff and come third, fourth, fifth in the sprints, and then Kissian is an unknown factor. Kissian can run two, four, eight. So I'm not yet deciding what we're doing with her. But we should get some, I don't think three teams can beat us, but Pittsburgh and Central Missouri, Missouri Southern, with their numbers, the conference is gonna be tough. But nothing is impossible with these young ladies. Nothing is. And then finally, you've had a number of your uh, newer athletes really step up this year. Kissy Ann Brown had a huge impact on your relay in the national championships. Obviously, Christelle won the hurdles. And then you have uh, people you mentioned like Kimona and, and others. Uh, who are you really excited to watch this Kissy season? Ann. Don't have to think twice, man. <laughs> She's going to be big. She's gonna be big and she work hard. Yesterday she was out. She run and work out hard every day. She's gonna be tough. And to be honest, I don't wanna let this out, but she, she's gonna be tough. She's gonna be tough. Okay. All right, thank you, coach. All right.